So I'm going to try and answer a very common question people always ask about WordPress. The question is, what's the difference between a page and a post? So let me quickly show you <clears throat> on my website. Uh, let me just go to my website for a second. Hopefully I can get my logins quite fast. Uh, just bear with me for a second. So as you can see, this is my website. Don't judge my design because that's not the point. Oh, I was logged in before. Yay. I don't need to re-authenticate. Yay. So generally when you think about pages, it's pages that have content on it that you wrote. So for example, this is like my home page. It has like a heading, who I am and what I do, sort of some testimonials from people that have helped, what I do, presumably, and some information on how to get in touch with me. So that's a page. Another page could possibly be a page outlining the projects that you've worked on, which this page hasn't been updated in 25,000 years, but some of my projects exist here. Most of them are very old. And then you have your get in touch page, which is basically your contact form. I have a page where people can add their testimonials, as you can see. And then I've got a page which I've called blog. Now, essentially, my blog has all my uh, blog posts. So I've got the title, a nice little image. I have some effects here. So when you click onto this, you can see what I've written inside the post. And specifically, I've just got a title and a video in these. Uh, so it's a title, I have a featured image, and then I have what the what this is about. And then I've got a YouTube video, just like um, there's going to be one for this that I'm currently creating. So um, these are blog posts. So, so these, as you can see, my pages home about getting touch testimonials are pages that don't have blog posts. They don't have the blogging functionality. And I'll explain what blogging functionality actually means. Blogging functionality, oh, I have actually a page that I don't really need, but these are my static pages about me, my blog, uh, this is just random testing stuff that I've done for people. Um, and then you've got my get in touch page, my projects page, and so on. So my posts are where, where I would be blogging. So those are the ones where um, I've actually got a title and then I've got whatever I was blogging about and then the video in my case. So these are independents and the difference between these and actual pages is that if you go and view one, people can actually comment on what they're reading, like thanks for the post, blah, 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 whatever. Um, on normal pages, like on your homepage, you don't want people to comment about your page, right? You, you don't want them to to be telling you about, you know, things that are visible on this page. You just want to show them information. So that's the difference. The post page is actually the page where you um, show people or where you have all your 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 information about your. So you, your your blog page is a page. But your actual blog items, like the blog articles, are actually posts which are just give you the ability to write something or blog about something, as we say, and then people can comment on that, if that makes sense. I hope that helps answer that common question.